What's up guys, it's me again Crushed Pixel. While other YouTubers are doing April Fools today, I decided to do something nice to you. Because you requested my directions filter for a long time, um, which was used for my throw swords creation and the dirt smash and citrian spell system, I decided to release it today. And first let me show you what you can do with it. Um, if I place that red symbol here, it's going to spam these villager sounds and wherever I look it is going to um, spawn these snowballs. And let me just stop that. And this is basically just a structure that has been generated by the filter. Um, up here we have a fill clock with redstone blocks and stone. And um, here I added manually a very fast set block clock to power this a lot of times, but uh, you can obviously power this yourself. Um, then we have for every direction within five degrees that the player is looking at, we have a different execute command. Um, uh, which summons a snowball with the given motion and this is actually the filter I started with that the command I started with sorry it's um, a highly customizable filter meaning um, uh, this is your command in my case it's uh, slash execute at all score test min one meaning um, this is just something which I can specify I can specify any scores or um, anything else that uh, like uh, for the command so the at a you can even have uh, that the player has to be in game mode one or something and then you have this placeholder um, it's uh, like a dollar mark and then dir which stands for direction and you just insert that somewhere in your um, uh, selector meaning you can also put like uh, I don't know, score test 2 of 1. You can just add anything you want. This is just a placeholder which will get uh, replaced by my filter. Then you have your summon command. Uh, I used 1.66 here because that's uh, the player height as far as I know. And then it summons a snowball there with the MVT data. And I just inserted dollar $MOT which stands for motion. And this is again another placeholder and as you can see this gets replaced by RxM, Rx, Rym and Ry for every specific di um, direction and then here it uh, puts the motion. And this is all automatically done by the filter. Um, let me just go over to MC Edit and show you what to do. Okay so here we are in MC Edit. Um, this is the command block with the command I put inside and I just selected the CP directions filter and here um, it shows the placeholders again and there are some settings that we can specify for example um, the accuracy of the whole thing meaning uh, it's only going to create a command block for uh, every 10 degrees or every 5 degrees or every degree but I do not recommend that and so let me just put it to 10 degrees and then we have the motion factor meaning uh, what's the maximum motion of the snowball or whatever you summon with the uh, with this placeholder so let me just put it to 2 meaning the snowball is going to fly twice as fast as it uh, did in the video I showed you and let me just hit filter and then I can save it somewhere okay and I, I know that you didn't see that but I just saved it and then I can go to import and import the schematic that was generated by the filter. Um, I use schematics because uh, you can just put them into the world wherever you want. And you see, this is it. You just hit enter to import the schematic. And then let's just save the whole thing. And this is our structure. This is everything we need. Okay, here in Minecraft, this is our structure. And because I only created a command block for every 10th degree, um, this means that there are not going to be as much command blocks as if you have 5 degrees. And yeah, so let me just uh, grab that command. And. Uh, break, 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 break. 
uh, put it in that command block. So this just Ray. for the clock. Ray, 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 you see, it's going to spawn these snowballs, and uh, for some reason, uh, they don't get rendered very fast because of some uh, Minecraft stuff and because the clock I have down there is a bit laggy destroyed and yeah so that's basically how you use it you can uh, power break, these break, uh, full break. clocks manually and hello cow uh, this is like the pattern I'm going to put it into the description so just that you have an example uh, you can really do tons of stuff with this it's really awesome and I'm proud to release this filter. And finally, <laughs> there's something funny that I wanted to show you. Uh, this was not great at using the filter, but uh, using an earlier version. Uh, yeah, because there were some bugs in the code and this is what it created. I think it's pretty funny. It's like uh, spawning them everywhere. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!